Hello and welcome to this introduction to LJMU Special Collections and Archives. This session is designed to provide a general overview of the collections we hold at LJMU and the types of material they contain. Please note the links to our web pages, email address and social media at the top of the screen if you wish to contact us. If you'd like more information, please consult our web pages or do get in touch. The Special Collections and Archives Reading Room is located on the lower ground floor of Oldham Robarts Library and we are open 10 till 4, Monday to Friday. We strongly advise you to make an appointment to visit the archives where possible and we do require a minimum of 48 hours, excluding weekends, notice for requests of archive material. Please note the reading room rules. No food or drink in the reading room, no pens to be used, pencils only. Locker to be used for, to store bags and other property and a coat stand provided for coats. Quiet study only and please ensure that you have clean hands. We've divided our collections into different categories reflected on our web pages. The first category is arts, photography and fashion and you can see a list of the collections included within this section. The images you can see on this page are Girls Crystal, and bunty covers from the memorabilia collection of girls comics and magazines, New Brighton Open Air Baths from the Keith Medley Photographic Archive, a 19th century fashion plate from the Little Heart collection of costume, a photograph of an art installation from the Liverpool Biennial Archive, and a photograph of Arthur Dooley with his sculpture Dachau from the Arthur Dooley Archive. Our next section is Liverpool Theatre and Writing, consisting of a number of local theatre archives and the Willie Russell archive. The images here are, from left to right, a photograph of the Everyman Theatre showing Julie Walters, publication Left Theatre from the Unity Theatre archive, the list of productions by Merseyside Young People's Theatre Company, including the original production of Blood Brothers, programme from the Royal Court Theatre archive, and the Polish programme for Blood Brothers, showing how much Willie Russell's work has travelled. The next category is popular music and counterculture. This is the largest section, which includes a wide variety of collections. The images here are Anarchy in the UK magazine and God Save the Queen Flyer from England's Dreaming, the John Savage archive, a copy of the Beatles book, the Beatles fan magazine, from a complete run of the magazine in the Paul McCartney Many Years From Now collection. A copy of My Own Mag from the Jeff Nuttall My Own Mag collection. An issue of IT or International Times magazine from the International Times The Barry Miles Archive. Poster for The Naked City from Situationist International The John McCready Archive. Cover of Teenage by John Savage, representing the Teenage Archive, along with a copy of Modern Teen, also from this collection. And finally, a cover of Street Style, representing the Street Style Ted Polhemus Archive. Next, we have our Institutional History Collections, LJMU History. These collections cover the history of LJMU and its preceding institutions. There are four main collections, although there is some additional material held as well. The images here show a photograph of two students and another of preparations for the annual ball in the 1930s from the Liverpool School of Art archive. The war cake recipe from the FL Calder School of Cookery archive written in 1914 and tested by our staff and students over a hundred years later. A photograph of the outdoor pool and diving board at the I.M. Marsh College of Physical Education and a plan for the School of Science from the Byram Street Archive. Special Collections covers a number of collections of mainly published materials, such as the Special Collections books. The images here show two advertisements from the ephemeral collection Home and Away for curtains and a washing machine a photograph from a souvenir cruise brochure from the Life on the Ocean Wave collection, a cover of Punch from the 19th century periodicals collection, a photograph of the operations room from the Stafford Beer archive. This collection fits at once in all and none of the previous categories. Stafford Beer was a polymath and a cybernetician, a professor and an honorary fellow of LJMU, and is best known for his work in Chile in the early 1970s, when this room was developed as part of Project Cybersyn. 
More information about all of these collections can be found on our web pages. Finding LJMU archive material can be a little confusing since some collections are on our online catalogue and others are not. Our online catalogue can be found through our web pages or at archives.ljmu.ac.uk. You can conduct a free text search in the search box on the front page or go into the advanced search for, to conduct more complicated searches. Once you have some search results, you can click on the reference numbers to find out more information about the collection. Other collections not yet added to our online catalogue will have a PDF list or a spreadsheet available through the web pages. There are some collections which do not yet have a list available online. You can also now search for archive material on the Library Discover system. Simply search for your topic or interest, then select Archive Materials or LJMU Collections to see only material from Special Collections and Archives. You can then click on individual items and from the record you can link through to the online archives catalogue. If you are interested in finding out more, please do get in touch as we sometimes have a working list for a collection that we can share with you even if it isn't catalogued. If you're struggling to know where to start or you're not sure whether we have anything relevant to your research, please do get in touch and we'll be able to advise further. More information about our collections can be found at www.ljmu.ac.uk forward slash library forward slash archives. Please do get in touch if you have any questions or would like to know more at our email address archives at ljmu.ac.uk.